I've got my nerdy computer glasses on that don't have anti-reflective on them, so bear with me. Um, Got That Funk uh, has tagged me in a video hashtag defining me. And so there are there are nine questions. Uh, question number one, sum up the focus of your YouTube channel. Uh, I say what's on my mind, whatever that is. I, I almost went in dictation mode and said period, question mark, comma. <laughs> <laughs> um, I say what's on my mind, and that can be quite assorted. I talk about a wide variety of social issues, things that are on the news, sometimes YouTube drama. And I talk about my feelings. Two, what hobby or hobbies do you have that you haven't shared on YouTube? Well, I mean, if I had the money, I would collect old cars, but I go to a number of car shows, and I hear that some free ones are, are you know, you, you don't have to pay to go into this certain area, you know, just have some neat classic car shows, and, uh, uh, you know, I just, I love old cars, I do, it's, it's just a thing. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, I mean, most everything else I pretty much share on this platform. So it's saying, you know, what hobbies do you have that you haven't shared on YouTube? So uh, what's your number one talent? What's a talent you wish you had? My number one talent, I hope, is creativity, uh, music, you know, particularly in music. Um, what's a talent I wish I had? Um... I wish I was better at memorizing exact phrases. Memorizing the exact language that something was was originally given in. I, I wish I was better at that. It would help me a lot. Um, almost everything that I that I look at, I end up you know I I memorize the concepts. And so every time I want to reiterate it, it's never said the same way as that I learned, as the way I originally, uh, the, as it was inputted into my mind. And it's, it's never the same. It's just like, well, this is, these are the concepts, so let me try to explain this. And, and I sometimes, and I get this shit wrong sometimes. So, you know, I, that's a talent I wish I had. Um, let's see. What are three main character traits that define you? I hope that it's uh, compassion, passion, and creativity. That's what I hope that they are. But the way that we see ourselves is not necessarily the way... It's sometimes radically different than the way other people see us. So, who knows? Um, what do you do to relax and for fun? Well, what I do to relax, and it's very hard for me to relax is uh, go to nature areas, uh, go, on a, go on a nice long walk in a nature area. Um, it may not be, <laughs> I may end up getting winded out or something like that, but my mind is relaxed and I am enjoying my surroundings and uh, I, I just love that, I, I always have. I've always liked being very close to nature. Um, and for fun, Uh, you know, video games, uh, spending time with friends, uh, I don't know, jacking off, uh, just sometimes watching humorous videos, uh, and also, you know, the nature thing that I said earlier, it's, it's relaxing and fun, so... Do you have pets? If so, what kind and what are their names? I did have a pet. I had um, my dog, Misty. She uh, stays at... Uh, she's being taken care of by Tyler and uh, the assortment of people he has living there that include the three bears that haven't paid rent in almost two years. Um, 
they've got their hearts in the right place, but they have some issues. That's for damn sure. Um, but uh, I miss Misty a lot. I do. Misty gave me a lot of happiness. And I was very, very sad to not uh, not be able to have her around anymore. She's still doing well. I don't visit that much because the environment of that household is chaotic, 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 chaotic. So, um, who is your celebrity crush? That's probably the most difficult one out of that because I don't I don't really have a celebrity crush. I have there are a number of people who have been who happen to have been in movies, usually as extras, that I would have a crush on. Uh, um, there's a really really heavy set bearded guy who. Uh, I think one of the earlier parts, he, he played uh, one of the people on Sanford and Son, uh, a really big biker, heavy looking guy, and he's played a number of parts later on, right? I, I like him, uh, but it's saying, you know, a single celebrity crush, and I'm like, well, I mean, that's that's the closest one I can think of right away, um, and that's if it's I'm talking about appearances now if it's for mindsets um there are people like uh alan arkin he has a he has a certain kind of of mindset that i find very attractive um you know there are over-the-top people uh, uh uh pink and there's, uh, but the person, that's not who I was trying to think of. Gwen Stefani. Gwen Stefani. She just seems fucking cool. You know? And so there's a crush in that regard. You know, it, it would be her. Um, other than family members, who are your role models? me I've had to become my own role model because there's very there are very few people out there who seem to think the same way and the only person that's really going to know me is me but if it comes to people that I admire that's that would be a question I could answer more but then again it's a lot of people Musician-wise, it would be anyone who has been able to, you know, to be successful doing the kind of music they like. And I don't mean doing, oh, doing the pop music and they became popular doing this one genre that, that becomes popular. No, I'm, I'm not talking about I'm talking about someone who just truly, truly, any of the musicians who truly, truly do their own thing and are successful. The same with uh, visual artists. The same with actors. The actors that won't play those generic parts. The actors that play the really weird parts and uh, end up, you know, being very successful at playing those weird parts. You know, like Gary Oldman, uh, uh, um, Crispin Glover, uh, uh, Johnny Depp uh, um, and now I'm drawing a blank but I mean there's a, there's a, there's a uh, Jude Law uh, uh, you know well I guess he has his parts hasn't been that weird but uh, it, just people that can be really really quirky and be successful, you know? I could even say the same thing about uh, people who run businesses, that things are very, very quirky and they're successful. 
Um, let's see. What's your favorite joke or funny story to tell? You know, what's sad is I, I hadn't actually read that question until just now, and I'm going, okay, well, all right. There's a kid in uh, sixth grade, and he's playing baseball, and he strikes out three times and is out. And instead of saying, shit, or something like that, he goes, tulip. The coach comes up to him immediately and goes, what did you just say? I said, Tulip, go to the principal's office. So the kid goes to the principal's office. And the principal says, well, what are you doing here? And, and the kid explains, you know, what just happened. And eventually it comes to, well, well what did you say? Well, I, I, I said, Tulip. And he's kicked out of the school. So he comes home. His mother's there. And she's like, well, what are you doing home from school so soon? What happened? Are you Okay. He goes, yeah, but it's kind of weird. And well, what do you mean? And and so he goes into the long the story about what happened, and how he also had to go to the principal's office. Well, well, what did you say? I I don't want to say because every time I say it, something bad happens. What did you say? I I said tulip, and he was kicked out of the house. So he's got just just a few of his belongings in some little bag. And he's walking down the street, and eventually he runs into this homeless person. And uh, the, the kid is, looks all really depressed and is crying. And the, 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 the guy goes, goes, what happened to you? And the kid goes, well, it's, it's, it's a long story. Oh, I have time to listen right now. So the kid uh, tells the story. And eventually it comes to the uh, the part where it's, uh, you know, what is it that was said? Well, well, what did you say? And the kid figures, you know, what difference does it make? What what can he lose now? What more can he lose now? I, I said tulip. Y you said tulip? Yes. What, what does that mean? C come back here at midnight. So the kid, you know, just walks around and eventually comes back to that same spot at midnight and as he's crossing the street he's hit by a car and is killed. Do you know what the moral of the story is? Look both ways before you cross the street. Um, now I'm supposed to be tagging some people and uh, let's see let's tag Bob DeHomo um, Boro Dicroik, I've never been able to pronounce that name yet. Uh, you're going to have to pronounce your name sometime, dude. <laughs> Let's see, Debbie Daniels, Hector Defendi, Just Another YouTuber 3, and uh, uh, 1-800-STOMP. And, uh, you know, let's, let's see if uh, they'll make a video with these same, answering these same questions. And I will, I will put a link to their uh, YouTube channels in the description bar. Thanks.